So in this video, I will lecture this entire character in Substance Painter. I will share some tips along the way and will show you my approach to stylized texturing. Plan ahead. Before you start texturing, it would really help if you plan your texture process ahead. Planning could include colors, values and color themes. Use references if you have. For the reference, I will use my own render in this video. Also, I have recorded the entire process of sculpting this character. If you haven't already, I suggest you check it out. So without further ado, let's begin texturing this character in Substance Painter. So at first, I will block out this character with basic colors. So I will go through with all these meshes and select the basic colors by picking color picker from this image. So uh, I will select the body, I will hit remove, I will already use fill layer okay i will only use fill layer after adding the fill layer i will go to the settings and i will hold alt and click color so i can only use color on this i usually turn the roughness and normal on and uh, just increase the roughness okay now i will click the base color and click this color picker icon and just choose any random skin color all right uh, we could always go back and change the color afterwards and uh, for the apparel I will again now for the body I won't be going on and clicking the add fill layer again and again so I will select this layer and hit ctrl C alright and go back to the apparel which is his shirt and uh, sleeves I will remove it and I will hit ctrl V and just color picker t-shirt all right and for the bands i will go for a off white white i will hit again ctrl v and uh, just choose the color picker i could go for a more reddish tone and see this off white white all right and now i will add a black marks okay I will add a black marks and uh, I will hit three on my sorry four on my keyboard and uh, now I can just fill the color with either the UV chunk the single polygon single trigons or a mesh fill it is a very useful tool if you have separate meshes you could use this tool in your advantage so I will just use this mesh fill and just click on it and it will fill the mesh according to the separate meshes if you have uv's unwrapped separately you can also use uv chunk field to make the process faster now again i will go to hair remove it and same process again and just choose the colors of the hairs and uh, again for the eyebrows these are darker so i will again hit ctrl V to paste it and just use the black mask if we already have this mesh fill selected and just click on it and it will fill the mesh okay this is a faster way of approaching uh, BC, uh, blocking out the base color will get you somewhere a head start before you continue texturing in detail all right select go to eyes remove ctrl V and select the colors of the pupils uh, for the iris for example and uh, uh, again control V and select the black color I will add black mask we have mesh fill selected click on it and it will fill the mesh the same process again and again okay now uh, for the body or the hairs I also need to fill this eyebrows with black all right and uh, I'll select the hair hit ctrl V again select the colors of the eyebrows which is black of course a black marks and just click on it because we have mesh fill selected all right now all we have left is the tongue and his teeth and we have hair in the eye sections just quickly control V select the color of the tongue okay and just add a black mask sorry add a black mask and just fill it with UVs uh, you could also get this model entire character 
on Mars Station Store, I have shared the model as well as the texture sets. All right, you could always download and practice uh, as your own. Or if you have followed my playlist, already been created this character now. And for the teeth, again, the color and uh, just quickly add the. All right, now we have a head start of what our character is looking like it is very important before you jump go texturing blindly always block out some kind of add some kind of block out or, or either it's sculpting texturing you have to put the foundation first we have the foundation of basic colors onto our mesh now we can go ahead and plan uh, texture it ahead now for the blood vessels the blood always runs through the nose the cheeks the ears and the tips of the finger or some part of the finger so i will use the uh, redness of the blood and just for example paint with it okay i'll select the paint brush uh, i'll select the red and give it a black mask now i will go back to the brush and uh, i have some of my brushes in the favorites okay this is a new feature in substance 2023 substance 2023 you can just add quick favorites i use basic soft most of the time and cotton brush okay for the organic sculpting i use cotton or uh, for the basic soft color i just use basic soft okay i am using my pen digital pen and i will turn off this and turn the sensitivity of the flow just turn off this flow slider on okay now i'm ready to paint the redness onto his face and his fingers just add the black mask select the basic soft and just gently tap it to add the redness of the face it will be red here and it will be red on the ears as well remember the ears and the nose will always have some kind of redness around them for the tips of the hair fingers i will just quickly add redness on his fingers because if you look at your fingers you will always see this part with the red okay also this part red as well and just this part okay it is very important either it's a stylized or realistic there should be some kind of realistic elements into it movies like pixar and disney always have this because believability or is that a word or not so and uh, for the breaking out the colors of the basic skin i am just planting gently and uh, or i could not i can always go back now for the uh, color of the mouth i will also add a new layer for the mouth add black colors i will turn i will hide all these parts so i could paint the inside of the mouth i could just choose the basic heart to fill out the color easily all right just uh, let me choose the color first all right and uh, with the black mask add a black marks now i am ready to paint and just will paint out oh it's not painting okay it's in the april section all right i have just messed up i will go back to the body and just add the black color inside the mouth okay i'm using the soft brush i can also use the basic heart but also i'm using the basic heart at the moment but with the pressure sensitivity way now that 
just gently you don't have to rush this process all right uh, we have filled the mouth with this color i will just paint the remaining parts quickly now that we are getting somewhere okay uh, we have uh, painted the body now we will go on and add the color values into our character and for that i will start from the heads i will select the heads and copy this layer which is the base of the color i will just copy and duplicate it and now i have painted several base colors based on the values as well now i will increase the value and paint on them i will show it to you add black mask uh, undo it let's see the colors first it is the default base colors i will just increase the values nothing more okay i will just make it dark nothing more uh and uh, just close it and add a black mask i will search the brush which is basic soft uh, turn off the size of the pressure and uh, turn on the pressure sensitivity of the flow and turn the slider to low stroke opacity also low and just paint it on to the mustache with your pen just gently paint it all right as you can see now we have all the bright colors on the top of the uh, dark color around the edges this is uh, this is the way to paint values around your mesh because we have layers and we are in a digital media so we can always go back and change the colors all right i will also uh, and uh, search for the the heads as well okay now let's see this is the colors of the eyebrows remove the mask and just increase the value you can also increase the hue as well okay just slightly nothing more and black mask and just paint like we did last time okay just gently you don't have to go crazy on it and uh, we can just decrease the value a little bit okay because the eyebrows are supposed to be dark colors now we will do the same with the tongue as well and i have noticed uh, his one tooth which is yellow we haven't made it yellow yet so i will do it asap and uh, just duplicate the layer okay just duplicate the layer and give it this golden add a black mask and fill all right now we have a golden tooth as well and uh, for the tongue i will just use this color and increase the values as well as uh, saturation uh, increase the values all right now turn off the saturation and uh, slightly increase change the hue add a black mask and now we will go very slow and paint this new bright color on top of the tongue now if i zoom out you would see the uh, color variation it is adding color variation of some sort of on the uh, mesh and this is a very handy trick to do stylized texturing first paint the dark colors and then light colors on top of them i do this all the time and just retouching the redness of the body here as well now for the logo our original mesh 
model has this Hulk Mania logo. I downloaded this logo from the uh, Google and Photoshop it so I made it into a PNG. I will do this as well and uh, I will just go around to my directory and click and drag into our software. It will ask that what is this Hulk Mania PNG file. I will define it by clicking it to texture. We will use it as a texture. Now import your sources to the project stylized Hogan class which is the name of this project and I will just click import now we have this PNG we could use for the shirt what I do with most of the PNGs I need to project is use the warp projection it's a new feature uh, released in I think 2022 version or 2021 version if I am not mistaken so how to use the warp projection is add a fill layer quickly and we, all we need is the color okay I will hold alt and click on color so we have this color but not all this height rough and normal maps now just click and drag onto the base color we would see this distorted image projected onto the mesh now we will just go up and the projection type is to UV projection I will click on it and choose the warp projection alright and UV wrap is repeat I will choose it to none now how it work is that this is a gizmo 3d gizmo okay 3d manipulator gizmo whatever you call in substance painter now if I just use this arrow it is projecting the image based on to this uh, gizmo and I can just move it around scale it okay there are three options scale rotate and move I will just scale it down to see the logo all right I will use the move brush again and just try to move manipulator again and just try to place the logo according to you this only works if the image is PNG remember JPEG will not work because JPEG will project the whole mesh it is a transparent image if it's black around here it is a transparent image all right I will just increase the scale again and try to place the image like in the final render okay this could work okay we could always go back and change our let's see was the original the original mesh has bigger logo so we will just do that and uh, just increase the size of the logo all right just increase the size of the logo and use the move manipulator so it is all trial and error it takes a lot of time all right just move it above okay this is a very handy tool warp projection just change my entire workflow how i project images onto my mesh so now then all we need is to add the variations around the mesh okay i think his redness of needs to be more redder so i will add another layer this time and uh, i will turn on the colors of the redness more and I will paint it on top of it let's see change the hue maybe and uh, just use the black mask and I will just paint it slightly let's see if it's working or not I am using the soft brush let's see yes it is working I'm just using the soft brush and painting the red on the red parts of the body all right on the red parts of the body so if I turn on the subsurface on on any other software like in blender it will look really good now I have noticed something that the eyes have really high roughness I usually don't do that so I select the eyes what I usually does is add a roughness map separately not with the fill or base colors so I will just hit fill and go down 
and hold alt on the rough only and it will only give me the roughness map okay i will just remain rename it to r which is rough and increase the decrease the roughness so it is more flashy okay just rotating around and see now uh, all other parts have the effect of this roughness as well so i will just add the black marks as well and go to hit 4 and mesh will select selected and just select the matches which i want the roughness to take effect okay now go back and only our eyes have this roughness not the whole mesh all right we are halfway done all right now all we need to use is some generators and uh, his beard needs a little bit uh, painting because into our original mesh i have painted these strokes to indicate a stylized beard of some sort of so i will just do that make sure body texture set is selected and i will just duplicate any of this layer for example this and uh, now i want a dark brown tone for the heads and i will just increase the saturation and just slightly change tone the value down a little bit and just play with the hues until i am satisfied with the colors of the heads around his beard all right and i will just give it a quick mask and uh, i will drop it down a lot maybe not let's see how it's now for the hairs i will use a specific brush which is kyle brush if i press kyle uh, you would see a grass brush which is fast grass 4 i will just make it a quick shortcut here so i can find it easily head to quick favorite and uh, this brush is really good for adding fur type of textures. I will just tweak some settings which is in the brush palette. I will change the angle of the brush and change the spacing as well. And increase the size a little bit. Now with gently turn the flow on the passage sensitivity and just move it around to just give it an indication of the hairs we don't want to fill it completely it's a stylized work of course we just want to give it a hint or some kind of indication that his face has little hair on it all right now then it has some kind of hairs now for the this part of the head it usually if you see the color zones of the face uh, the bottom part of the head is always blue and the middle part is red and the upper part is yellow so we would just do that and for that I will just hit uh, paint a little bit of blue around his jaw which is duplicate the uh, layer again and just give it a blue hue turn the value down maybe up and turn the saturations down and just let's see I will just add a quick mask and this time I will use the uh, basic soft uh, I always had to just change the settings whenever I switch brushes this is something a uh, something of a bug in substance inventor for a very long time and I really hope they fix it soon so turn the sensitivity on and just gently paint it around the jaw you can always tone it down if it's too extreme for you it's extreme for me at the moment i can just tone it down how would i do that i will just show you 
let me finish it first okay we have painted uh, the jaw now all we can do is either tune the color down or just turn the opacity really low we don't want to change the colors just turn the opacity really low as you can see turn the opacity really low here paint it and here paint it where it is left off just we can go back and play with the hue as well let's see this look good all right now uh, it seems like he shaved his jaw for the beard and some of the hair is growing out okay the heads are slightly indication of the stylized heads we need to put it on this character now for the apparel there is one material i use most of the time and it will work really fine with this if i go back to the uh, materials and hit fabric there is a leather material all right there is big leather and there is small leather which is medium grade if i select the apparel and drag it drop the medium size leather uh, it's a big size the medium size leather it's a medium grain medium grain let's see if i increase the scale to really high it will give me this texture which looks really good on the clothing because if i turn on turn off this layer and choose the color for example uh, if i go back to the material settings i can just pick up whatever color i want and just use the yellow bright yellow now if i turn the layer on you could see that this looks really good on the t-shirt now i only want it to be on this t-shirt and his cap or whatever this part is so i will add a black mask and fill this part really quick now then we are almost done all right we are almost done all it remain is a little bit of touch up and uh, uh, either we need to add some kind of ambient occlusion on it for the apparel what i did was i will just copy and paste the layer on top of everything and turn the value really down also the saturation very down all right either i could use a black mask with generator which i will just show you in a minute uh, with the position generator on but i want to paint it manually and just hit the brush all right i am i have selected the soft brush and just paint it just indication of some kind of a dark background okay it will look really good when we will render it in blender all right I have added some kind of a blackness around it. I can just go back and change the color of whatever I want. Then increase the change the hue, all right, and uh, just play with it until it looks right. This is one rule I follow. Just fake it till I make it, all right. Fake it till I make it. Now there is one another trick I use, which is a generator with position on, and uh, which is uh, I will just duplicate the same layer again, and I will just show you how it is done. I will add a black mask, add a generator to the black mask, and there is a generator called position. All right. Now what it does, it just if I press C and you would see this uh, add uh, some kind of a gradient around your mesh using the mask so if i 
increase the global balance whenever it is white it is using a gradient because if i switch to the material again and choose this parameter changer you would see that it is giving some kind of a gradient around the mesh i can always invert it and uh, let's see here it is i want the lower part to be black and not the upper part so i can just play with the settings all right and now i will just give this material uh, folder and call it position and give it a black mask and fill it with this layer because we don't want the t-shirt to be affected by this all right now we are pretty much done with this character all we need is to export the textures and render it in blender and for that i will just show you the export settings first of all you need to change the resolution of each of the textures set i want the body to be higher resolution so for example if i choose body uh, the resolution of the texture set is uh, 4096 which i want it to be exactly this but for the apparel i will just choose 2k and for the eyes i will just switch it to 1k all right because it just roughness map on the eyes nothing else and for the heads i will choose 2k so we have 2k for all the texture sets except the body which i want it to be highest i can all right and uh, now press ctrl shift e to export or you can just go to file and click on export textures and you would see a directory by default you can change this directory for example desktop and create a whatever folder you want to create and just don't change anything because the output template is blender principle bsdf this is what we want and just export after choosing the directory you want to export or let it be default and just hit export and it will just uh, export all the texture maps you'll see all these texture maps and now i want to make folders for all of them for example apparel this is again i want substance painter to change make separate folders for the texture sets by default body and i will just create quickly the folders now then we have exported all the texture maps and we are pretty much done with this character in substance painter this is it for this video i hope you like the texturing process of how i approach to stylized texturing in substance painter in the next video i will go on and use these texture sets on this model and we will just add lights and will render the hell out of this character so please share like comment and uh, uh, i will see you on the next video